Hi there, students. I have a question from Williams Doncor about what's the difference between objective and subjective. Well, in this case, both objective and subjective are adjectives. We could have the adverbs subjectively, objectively. Um, we could have the noun of the quality subjectivity, objectivity. And then also you can have an objective as a countable noun, but that means an aim or a goal, and that's a different meaning, so we'll put that to one side. Okay, so if you are being objective, you're dealing with facts, yeah, without distorting them with your personal pre prejudices or your interpretation or your feelings. If you're being subjective, you're um, looking at things from your point of view and you're using your emotions and uh, your intuitions and your feelings to judge something. Okay, so for example, a photograph is much more objective than a drawing. Yeah, because the drawing is affected by how the person drawing it feels about what they see, um, whereas a photograph is objective and it captures the light that comes off it. So ob objectivity is talking about seeing the real situation as it really is. Being subjectivity is viewing it through uh, your own eyes. Um, letting it be uh, m um, the reality, reality be moulded by your feelings, by your opinions, by your prejudices, how you feel about this. So we would like to think that we all make um, objective decisions in our lives, but unfortunately we are subjective in everything we do. As human beings, objectivity, I think, is impossible because we see the world from our uh, point of view and our point of view is subjective, yeah? Although we can try to be more objective about things. Okay, so if you're being subjective, you're, um, you're, you're basing an something on on your um, basing your opinions on your feelings on your intuition you're not being objective and basing it on observation and logical reasoning okay so ob if you're being objective yeah you're trying to view uh reality you're basing uh, uh your opinion or your decision on observable facts if you're being subjective, you're basing it on how you feel about something. Yeah. So, yes, subjectivity, I think, is part of the human condition, although we certainly uh, ought to try to be more objective. Um, a judge is supposed to be completely um, objective when uh, he enforces the law, or when he uh, makes a decision. However, as a human, subjectivity will always come, come into play. Um, so, if you're subjective, it's something that's based on your experiences, your understanding, your personal feelings, yeah, as an individual. Yeah, it depends on what's taking place in your mind, not on what's really happening in the external world. Um, so, I made a video about pain and uh, ache, but the problem with both of these words is these are vo both very subjective. It's very difficult to objectively measure uh, pain because different people feel pain in different ways and therefore it's uh, impossible to be objective. How much pain is this person suffering? You can try to do some subjective tests. Does it hurt more than if I prick you with this? And then we, we, maybe we're talking about the relative levels of it. Okay, so subjective, influenced or based on personal beliefs rather than based on facts.
gifts. Yeah, um, my children are the most wonderful children in the world. But that's a very subjective comment. Yeah, um, uh, I think at school they look at uh, children much more objectively. Yeah, they look at them uh, in an independent way. So being objective is using re uh, logic as opposed to emotion. And I think that's the difference between the two. OK, so we need to try to be uh, more objective in our lives. We need to try to not to be influenced by our, our feelings. Yeah. And we need to um, just consider the facts. So, yeah, s humans are subjective people or subjective creatures. OK, so let's see. What about the uh, origin? Well, so, um, subjective comes from the word subject, yeah, uh, which comes from Latin subjectus, uh, uh, lying on the ground, lying exposed, yeah. And then objective again comes from uh, Latin objectivus, uh, to present, to expose. So if you're being objective, you are exposing the real truth of something. OK, formality. I think I would probably give both of these words a six in formality. I think you can use them anywhere. I think subjectivity and objectivity as nouns, these are a little bit more formal. I'd probably give them 6.5 to 7, and I would limit them to a semi-formal conversation, a semi-formal writing or something very formal. OK, so objective looking at reality as it really is and not letting the lens of your mind distort the reality. Subjective, looking through, looking at things and interpreting them through your feelings, through your mind, through your experience. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Subjective, objective, subjectivity, objectivity.